up, YouTube? It's your boy Jaquel, man. Welcome back to my channel, man. Jaquel Legacy. Uh, where have I been? Where have I been? Where have I been? It's been a lot going on, honestly. Uh, if y'all haven't, before we get into this video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like I say, as you grow, I grow. As I grow, you grow. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Praise y'all. Let's get into this. Get your kill time. You bring him back. Fuck your kill time. Oh yeah, see ya. Yeah, so I almost got off into you know everything with me, and that's been going on and transpiring into my life. But um, you know where have I been? I know I be having gaps. I know I may explain, and I do explain as best I can. Sometimes I don't, but more often than none, more or less than none. Um, your boy is here in the flesh still. If y'all been wondering where I've been, uh, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm still in Dallas for right now. We gonna get off into that. But, um, well, how, how have I been? I spent two months in a car on May 13th. It will be three months, but ain't nobody staying in no car that long. Ain't nobody staying in no fucking car that long. Uh, it's been two months, two and a half months, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, what it's been like, it's been, it's been, man, it's been a, a journey. It's been a test. But it's always to come out best. Um, so yeah, Dallas has been, it's been cool. You know, I liked it at first. I still like it. I have no ill will against this place, but I ain't gonna lie. If you ain't got no job that's paying you decent money, don't fucking come here. Unless you, unless, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I don't eat my words. If you can do YouTube and content, whatever you do, it ain't even got to be content related. If you can come to this city and flourish off of what you want to do, then fucking do it. Because this place is, is, is perfect for that. Because it's, it's, it's a big ass city. You're going to collab with somebody sooner or later. So, you know, you if you ain't working, if you ain't relying on 9 to 5 per se, come out here. If you're relying on a 9 to 5, do not come out here, bro. You watch it. You was relying on a motherfucking job unless it ain't paying you more than 16. Guaranteed pay. Guaranteed everything, nigga. Take care of you. Don't come. Only waste your fucking time. Because I ain't think coming here, I'll be making what I make. I make $16 an hour, bro. I ain't made that much of money since I was like 21 years old, bro. Like, I ain't made $16 since I was 21, bro. No. Yeah. Probably about 2021, so I was probably about like 22. Bro, I ain't made that since then, bro. I made 15, I ain't gonna lie. But I was getting paid every two weeks, but still, that's like, that ain't shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Grown ass man, grown ass woman, dog, and a cat. And a car that has problems. Like right now, this motherfucker's sitting just for right now. It's been sitting this day three. Uh, the alternator went out. Um, That's getting fixed tomorrow. We're not making this about no fucking car. The car get fixed tomorrow, but yeah, don't come here if you don't if you're not ready to you know it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a struggle a little bit. But I ain't gonna lie, grand they got cheap cribs and shit like that. They got cheap gas. They got food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I said to say, man, it just it is one. It just didn't. It just hasn't worked out for me in Kennedy here. We're gonna we're gonna leave part ways with this motherfucking place, and you know we're gonna go where we go. Um, and that leads me off to saying. Um, I didn't even know I'd be making a video like this right now. I didn't know I'd even be saying this shit that's gonna come out right now. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but I said to say, bro, motherfuckers going back home. Going back to Indiana, Nap Town, 317, Indianapolis, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. The Nap 317, come back home. Um, yeah, it's been. I, I, I'll say this. Going into... It's been three years, basically, I've been gone from my hometown. Three years, bro. Three years. I've been gone, like, from Albuquerque to Hobbs to Colorado to Phoenix to, to L.A. to Oregon to Dallas to Houston. El Paso. I'd have been everywhere, bro, trying to find the right setting for me and mine and just mental and everything else but i went to these places man i struggled i went to these places and i struggled and 
at the same time, that still made me appreciate it more because it taught me how to do certain things like work on a car. It taught me certain things on how to survive and do certain things that I did not know how to do. Like, before I left Indiana, bro, it just was warehouse, 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 and pain and trauma. I ain't know how to do shit. I ain't not working on a car. Shit I want to do with my grandpa or my father type shit. I, I ain't do none of that shit. I just, uh, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't able to do none of the things that I had taught myself or learned along the way of just my journey. Um, but... So, but yeah, um, damn, I got When I when I left when I left India, I, I mean yes, that's what I was saying. So I feel like I accomplished it, even though it was I accomplished it because to, to myself I feel like because. I made it out of my city and I made it very far and I've seen and done things that you know I never thought I'd be able to do like go to these places be around this type of people experience the life that I was experiencing seeing the things I even saw at one point just simply being around it I never thought that I'd be able to even do those things that I did and to say that I did it that makes me feel so good on the inside because I cherish it even more than now that I'm going back home. First, when I was there, when I was there, I was I was cherishing it, yeah. But I was trying so hard to keep up, not with no lifestyle per se, no persona, but I was trying so hard to just get by. Like going to Hobbs, I left Indy, went to Hobbs, and those who've been here since then know, like, I made ten dollars, eleven dollars, twelve dollars. Like, this back when rent was eight hundred dollars. And this before everything changed, you know, and this before I even had this car. This before a lot of shit to happen, but you know, I went there and I learned a lot. You feel me? And it, 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 I love the fact that I was able to do it. That's I ain't gonna go off and ramble, but I'm very thankful that I was able to do the things I did. And it's not the end of it, you know. As I go back to Indiana, as I go back to home, I'm gonna utilize this time, my time. And, and lock in, bro. Like, I'm not going back with the with the mindset, with the with the, with the mentality of I want to be in this motherfucker face. I want to be in this motherfucker face. I want to talk to this motherfucker. No, I ain't finna fake kick with nobody. I ain't finna. Now we cross paths and we talk. Hey, you feel me? We cross paths, talk, catch up, cool. You feel me? But and if we don't talk, we don't talk. It's no tension, it's no beef. I don't beef with nobody. I ain't got a problem with nobody. Like, I ain't even focused on that little boy shit no more. I'm focused on just bettering myself as a person, you know. And then when I leave again the next time, like when I leave Indiana again, you know, rather be for good or for a couple months, like it was, like, or years how it's been, and go back. If I go back, I'll be even more advanced than I was the first time. Because the first time I got so close to, you know, maintain, I did it in Oregon. Feel me? And did it in Hobbs. I got so close to that way of life, being able to take care of myself, my family, and, and handle shit no problem, not ask for help. But being in Dallas, bro, and these couple other places I've been to, like Albuquerque, ever since Oregon, for real, I had to go back into old traits, old ways, having to ask motherfuckers for help. I don't want to fucking ask nobody for shit. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't nobody's job to help me. It, I should not be asking for shit. And I damn sure don't want to talk to nobody about asking for fucking help. I don't want y'all help. I appreciate y'all help so much to the to the most highest of heights. But me, I don't want to ask for shit. So if I got to sit here and ask for shit because of what I'm going through, then I'm doing something wrong. Then it's something that's off with me as a person. And for some time, I was just like so content with asking because I was struggling for so long. And I thought as family, as friends, whatever you want to call that type of genre, I thought I could reach out and ask for that and get that and give it back when I can or bit by bit or just off of love because I don't do shit in the hopes of something in return. I do shit just because that's how my heart is. My heart is very giving. Yeah, I may have a temper at times and shit. And, and that's probably about it. And I'd be quiet, I'm very quiet, standoffish, extrovert. But at the same time, it was never strings attached with me. So to be able to, you know, 
do the things I've done and at such a young age, it, it motivates me more. So when I go back, when I go back home, you feel me, I'm gonna lock in with everything I do, working out, food, cutting off all distractions. I'm not gonna be comfortable, I'm not. Like the same shit I've done here where I'm moving, I'm gonna be doing there, but I'll be, in, I'll be home. You know, it's a cheap way of living. It's better job opportunities now. It's in the middle of everything. So if I got to go here, 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 I can do that. I could be a better, you know, boyfriend, husband, whatever you want to call me. Overall, just a better version of me. Like, and that's what I'm focusing on, being a better version of me. And that's all around, every, every, every genre, mentally, spiritually, physically, relationship, me as a person, you know doing way more and i'm going to y'all gonna see that journey that's gonna be the new shit y'all see y'all gonna see me working out on this bitch y'all gonna see me talking and doing the shit i do y'all gonna see a lot more because you know it's a lot that it's a lot that transpired in these last couple years just in me of me traveling just in me doing the things i have done and it's, it's not it's not always easy it wasn't always easy but i can look back and i can look back at these videos on this youtube bro and look back and know that i did it feel me y'all saw it and i did it you feel me and that's what makes me feel good and that's motivated me to go back home get some shit in order with myself and my girl and shit like that and my funds and everything of that nature and when i leave again bro y'all gonna see way y'all gonna see this this Jaquel legacy bro like it's only right this Jaquel legacy bro on this Jaquel legacy bro it's every fucking thing like i won't be your average nigga who work all the damn time i'm not gonna be i'm not don't be your average person who just you feel me struggle you feel me who who ain't got shit who who hurting who who broke who's just who, who steady asking for shit you feel me hurting and, 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 and just needing a motherfucker i don't I, my goals is i'll go back home and lock in and when i leave whatever all that genre like once this dallas scene is over i don't want to need nobody for shit like and i'm not going to you can mark my word, I ain't gonna need nobody for the fucking thing. Not my girl, not not nobody. I don't wanna ask for shit unless, I mean, if it's given, it's given, but I don't wanna need help for nothing because, you feel me? I shouldn't. It's my responsibility. Like, I'm in this body, I'm in this vessel, so it's my responsibility to, you know, be the man and be, you know, the best I can be all around the board. You feel me? So, I'm very thankful just to be able to say that I did things I did experience that I experienced, but that just motivated me even more to just go even harder, go even harder, you feel me, because there's people out here doing shit I want to do, like, in these nice-ass Hellcats, and you feel me, they got a roof over their head consistently for years, and they free, they might not be working a job, I, I want to break from that, bro, I've been working a job since I was 15, bro, you feel me, so, like, it's a lot of shit I see me doing. I'm not old. I'm still young, and I'm going to continue to get younger and younger. I don't look at me like I get old. I get better and better and better. You feel me? But, you know, I'm overall, I'm not going to be stuck in this matrix, this box, this bubble. You feel me? I'm locking in and I'm focusing. And y'all going to see that, bro. Y'all going to see every fucking bit of that. It's YouTube shit and on TikTok. But YouTube, bro, y'all 88 subscribers, 88 million, 88. That's my number, 18. My life path number is 8. 18 and 8s. Anything with 8s and 18. That's, that's me. 100%. I got it tatted on me been, before I even knew what it was. The whole bunch that go into my angel numbers, life path, number, whatever you want to call it. But y'all going to see, bro. I swear to God, and it's about abundance, prosperity. And that's all around the board. Businesses, credit, growth. And it's not just materialistic shit, too. It's also mentally, too. It's also inside, too. With the foods, the teachings, everything. You feel me? So... I'm very excited to show y'all this new chapter of me and y'all seeing it. Like y'all seeing me work out every day or seven days a week. Y'all seeing me try new food. Y'all seeing my life, me experiencing it and showing my life. It's gonna turn to some dish. It's finna shift, bro. Like this channel, everything is finna shift. It's finna be no more of like, oh, I'm in a car. Oh, I'm out the country. I mean, out the country, that's coming soon. But, oh, I'm struggling. Oh, I'm this. Y'all gonna see every fucking part of me and y'all gonna love it because it's growth. You feel me? Like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. You feel me? So, like, just stay tuned and trust me. It's gonna get better. Y'all gonna see the cars. Y'all gonna see the traveling. Y'all gonna see the vlogs. Y'all gonna see everything. For everything I put on this bitch, y'all gonna see. As long as it's not censored and can't get demonetized, y'all gonna see everything, bro. So, 
If you ain't gonna talk your head off, one back home, Indiana, Naptown, 317, I'm headed back, bro. I ain't gonna be comfortable, bro. I'm finna lock the fuck in, bro. We finna turn this bitch up, bro. For real, so. I love you watching. You still subscribe. I appreciate you for staying here consistently, inconsistently, leaving, coming back, whatever the case may be. I appreciate and love and thank you so much, man. It's your boy Drakel. And like I say, as you grow, I grow. And as I grow, you grow. I love y'all. I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. I praise y'all, man. Indiana, see you soon. Y'all probably see me again. You too. You, look, look. You too. Y'all gonna see me again when I'm on the road. You feel me? When I'm on the road, back home. And then from there, it's up. It's up. Hey, mark my word, it's up. So I love y'all. Thank y'all. If you haven't, man, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. But just for me, just subscribe. You feel me? Roll to 100 subs. Indiana, I started my YouTube, ironically, three years ago. Three, literally, before I left, I started my YouTube. So I'm going back. Feel me? Better, faster car, better mindset, you know, and I'm getting better within my relationship, how I am as a man and my relationship, and just me as a person. And y'all gonna see that, bro. I'm gonna be even more tatted. I'm finna get blasted, bro. Whole neck, all that. You feel me? So I'm excited, bro. And it's a lot on my mind, too, with my father and everything else. But then get off into that. But, you know, I know he watching. I know he happy. I'm coming home as far as Indiana and everything else. So I love y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate and praise y'all, man. See y'all soon. I love y'all family. I love y'all legacy community. I love y'all. I ain't going to forget about y'all. I swear to God, I never have it. Never will. I think about y'all every fucking day. If I'm on this bitch watching people, I'll be, I'll be mad at myself because I ain't watching myself. I ain't posting myself. I'm being inconsistent, bro. But I'm consistently watching others, and that's not what I want to do. But watch what I change and do. Mark my word. I love y'all, man. 1600 block, bro. Cross 16 Harbor, gone.